All right, hello, and welcome to another Marvel Snap deck highlight. Today I'm looking at an old deck I used last season? No, two seasons ago. To hit infinite, that fucking blows. Um, and the deck is basically play really big things and win the game. Well, that fucking sucks. The idea is to get Scar to a 2 or 0 cost, and then you can play 21-ish points of power on the final turn. Problem being, <clears throat> the Scorpion just absolutely rolled us, so, you know, not great. But, here we are. Um, so we have 5 cards that have 10 power, 2 of which are a 6 cost, but... Um, but also the Sasquatch can be cheapened and Scar can be cheapened, so we don't really have any 10 cost, 10 cost, or 6 cost, 6 cost, I mean. It's all kind of fake in a way. Um, I think I will just Sasquatch middle, honestly. Cost five, let's play him for five. That's you know not great, but here we are. Opponent snapped. Do this. Yeah, that should be fine probably. Interesting. They also have a Typhoid Mary. Um. Just do something like that. Yeah, the Scorpion kind of just like entirely broke our deck, but is what it is. Anyway, so now you have a mild idea as to how this deck functions. I will try to explain a little bit more in detail in the nuances in the next game. Alright, hopping in to game number two. Uh, Shrey's Lab is really good for us. Obviously our big things getting bigger is good. Typhoid Mary. Um, Echo Middle to try and shut down Professor X from being a problem. We also have Enchantress, which in Shrey's Lab can become a 10 power card. Yeah, so we can just Typhoid this turn. No, we can Enchantress next turn into Shrey's Lab, and then we'll have two cards at 10 power. Okay. Then we will have ooh, one card at 10 power. Um, we'll just do this. Just turn off the Typhoid ability. I am Iron Man. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna armor left to protect the Typhoid. And then zero right. They, they can't Iron Man middle. Which is interesting. <clears throat> I 
I can't play it there, even though I'm zeroing it. Okay. If we can do this into this, I don't want that. Ah. I'm gonna do that. Um, that'll be four cards played. So Sasquatch will go down to two. Scar will go down to two, and then we have Shadow King. So, you know, play a lot of power this final turn. Nothing tribunal. Um, we do this. In this, uh, Red Guardian covers if they play Iron Man here to try and double the uh, Iron Man ability. So that will hit them. If not, we're still subtracting two power, which when doubled is pretty good. Yeah. Iron, so Iron. absolutely stops what they were, stymies what they were doing. The question is going to be, is it enough? Looks like probably will be enough. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's kind of what this deck wants to do. It wants to play big things, and then we also have good tech cards in it such as Echo that make it very difficult for our opponent to play Iron Man where they wanted. Um, it's more there for Professor X. And then we have Shadow King and Red Guardian. Shadow King because there's so much Thena, Angela, Elsa shenanigans going on. So uh, Shadow King shuts that down. And if we have a tempo Red Guardian, we can just remove the text off those cards immediately, which just kind of negates most of their deck. That is the thought. Also, I have a question for people because I, I feel like I, I haven't seen people talking about it, but I, I have my concerns of like, you know, Zabu was a problem card. Zabu was a card that was still an ongoing text when I originally played this deck. He was one of the reasons this deck was so strong before is because there are so many 410s that exist, right? Um, so you can make them 310s, very strong, obviously. Um, but I feel like with Ravona at this point, we are walking a very dangerous line. Like Ravona does the same thing and all they're doing currently is adding a lot more cards that are beneficial for Ravona. Like I, I feel like Ravona is just turning into the new Zabu and I, I don't see anyone talking about it as it like, oh, it's not a big deal or oh, this, that, like... It, it is kind of a big deal. Like, Zabu was a problem. You know, like, not a hot take. That's kind of a fact. You know, he was an issue card. And they're making Ravona into this same issue card. Like, unless you guys are loving this Ravona into Angela Thena, Green Goblin, uh, like, just nonsense that's going on like they just need to be a little careful with what's going on I feel like, like um honestly not sure if this wins but let's see Oh, I think we got bailed. I think we got super bailed. They were afraid of us playing left to try and win. Yeah. Victory. Even when we have a bad hand, it still ends up being, what, like, almost 40 power? 35 power? It's not bad. We're about to hit rank 82. I know, I'm still low rank, so... Yeah, take it with a grain of salt, I guess. All right, hop it in to another one. I, I don't know what game this is. I'm bad at counting. Uh. Um. I think we'll.
we'll do that. Mysterio is here mainly to pop Sasquatch. Uh, he lets us. He lets Sasquatch be a 310. And any turn we can play. Um, Sasquatch early feels good. Uh, um, we'll do this. I don't love it, but it's fine. We in Typhoid left. What is this deck? Uh huh. Yeah, so this is an ongoing deck, hence the Cosmo. Jubilee's weird. this into this 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 what is score card is this card did I give him it's echo or mysterio I guess no we played mysterio on two so they wouldn't go it's echo or call can't be call maybe it could be call Okay. Victory. Guess they just didn't have any good cards. And we didn't have a really good hand. The Cosmo kind of really ruined the... Took the sail out of our ship. <clears throat> yeah, this is... I made a deck that's good, that was meant to be good into the meta, and then I haven't seen a single deck that I was complaining about in the last video, or that I was playing like today when I was prepping for this deck. Like when I like I was just practicing, make sure the deck feels good, and didn't get a single. Um, or I got a bunch of the Fina Angela decks, and it does really good into them because Fred Guardian shuts it down, and um, Shadow King shuts it down. But here we are. Uh, we can armor into Death's Domain if we pull it. That's the only way we can get in. We could armor it and then enchantress it. Womp. That is a massive Mer Island. Also a massive uh, armor from us. I'm snapping because this is the deck that I wanted to go into and I know that they have Angela and they're terrified now. Like they're, they're not, they're not leaving. <laughs> when you have Angela on two, you're never leaving. Too confident. Surfer? Why did they brood? Mer Island. They could have brooded Death Domain. I'm holding the Shadow King and the Zero.
What the frickin' heck is this deck? Guy, I wish I didn't Sasquatch there, honestly. I wish I would have Sasquatched to left. I could have had a much better play. I probably could have won left and Murr, honestly. I think this is the right play. We're going up a lot of power, right? I'm just saying they have some sort of like surfer or something. Oh. That's what they snapped with? <laughs> Surfer wouldn't have even won, right? Victory. I could have done Typhoid right. It wouldn't have won me the game, but I could have gotten Typhoid into their Echo. Made them pay the price. Ooh, we're gonna gain a few ranks from this one. So we'll be up at 84. All right, hopping into what'll be the last game for today. Uh, I don't really want any of these cards to be pulled. I guess Scar is ideal, but that's fine. Ayo. Um. I'm feeling bold. Sometimes you gotta. Do we an armor here? If it turns into something big, Scar goes down to two, which would be great. Um, if it turns into Ultron, we cry and leave. But it's a risk you gotta take. There's only one Ultron. There's plenty of other cards it could totally be. You know, that's funny. Based off the deck they're playing, that's, this is a funny card. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna Enchantress here and then Sasquatch middle, and then we can Scar Big House. Surfer. At least I assume this is Surfer. It's my only real thought for what this deck would be. Um, the issue is we're gonna have priority, so. Uh, the Red Hulk isn't gonna gain any power because we're playing five now and then we'll play Crossbone Scar next turn. That'll be good. I'm assuming we take uh, priority middle. I assume they play something for left. I guess that doesn't need... Uh, if they kill Monger this turn, we're kind of in a bad spot. I'm also surprised that they hope summered Black Vortex. Like... Okay, we did take priority. That is very good. So, the question is, Killmonger Surfer... That's three plus four, so plus seven, so it goes to 11, so it ties. Uh, if they have Killmonger Surfer, we're in a bad, bad position. If they have Killmonger, like Brood Surfer, like we're dead, I think. But 
we simply hope we don't that doesn't happen if they uh, kill monger the nova though we gain one power middle so take that Uh, is that Brood? Shadow King? There's Brood. Surfer. Oh. We're fine. Easy every time. Victory. Yeah, they didn't have Killmonger, which... Like I said, if they had Killmonger, we would have been dead. And uh, that can be clearly seen as if... Because uh, if there was a Killmonger in place of that Shadow King, it'd been bad news. It's interesting they didn't have a 3-drop. If they had any 3-drop here, they probably would have won. Maybe they just didn't have enough time to think it through. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this deck highlight, please leave a like, comment, let me know, and subscribe for future deck highlights. And I'll see you in the next one.